this is going to be a quick breakdown of both of the new multiplayer trailers and of more information we've got from the Halo Waypoint posts. The first few frames show an orange spot in the sliding, confirming that the sliding feature will be kept over from Halo 5. Throughout the trailer there are many Spartan seen with lots of Halo Reach armor, including these two at the beginning, with one wearing Carter's helmet and the other with a CQB helmet. There's the first look at the Needler in-game, and a Spartan with a soldier helmet. In the next part we are shown the chopper in-game, and in this cinematic shot, it shows the chopper going off of a grav lift, accompanied by two wasps, a vehicle being left over from Halo 5, and on the ground, a banished ghost, and a rocket warthog. If we stop in this first person perspective, you can see that now, in multiplayer, teams are no longer red versus blue, and instead, your Spartan keeps their coating and their colour from the customization, and you can see this Spartan has a red outline on them, showing that this is the new system to identify enemies in combat. This also shows that at least in this map, weapons will be obtained from the wall, and have an LED strip above the weapon cache, showing how long it will be until they respawn. There is then another piece of equipment shown, fired from the Spartan's left arm, and seems to be a sonar slash scanning device, which pings the Spartan through a wall, similar to Promethean Vision from Halo 4. This shows the grapple shot as a pickup in multiplayer. This is a new weapon not seen before, which seems to be a very Promethean-like weapon, which fires tracking shots. It can be shot horizontally or switched to shoot vertically. This shows a Spartan with a gravity hammer in-game, and before they jump down, you can see on their left wrist, the Repulsor, which is a new piece of equipment that can reflect back projectiles, and also be used to boost the player up to higher ledges. This is one of the new AIs that is going to be featured in Halo Infinite that each player can choose to have, which will give you updates on the match. This part shows another use for the grapple shot, is that you can use it to scavenge weapons. This is the first in-game look at the new weapon, the Skewer, which seems to act as a Spartan laser, but is more projectile focused. And yet another use of the grapple shot being shown, and it being able to hijack aerial vehicles. This new map looks very reminiscent of Valhalla from Halo 3. This is the first look at the Scorpion tank in-game. This vehicle drop is a new way that vehicles are going to respawn on the map. As in previous games, vehicles usually spawn at the team's base. While there's no confirmation that that will change, they've said that vehicles can be dropped into the maps with pelicans now. The red flag, which can be seen here, has its symbol as a snake, like the original flag in Combat Evolved. This next shot shows the skull, which is used as the main objective in Oddball, meaning that Oddball will be returning. While I'm not pointing out every armour in the trailer, this pink Spartan is wearing an ODST helmet, which is a fan favourite armour from past games. And for the final scene in this trailer, a shot of the new Samurai Spartan armour, which is going to be available for free in the first season. It also gives us a look at how the sidekick pistol will function in game, with a fast fire rate, and a closing shot of the Samurai Spartan, combat evolving an energy sword towards them. And now onto the multiplayer overview trailer. One of the first few shots shows first person gameplay using the needler, which seems to have an ammo counter on the back of it, showing how many needles are present in the gun. There is more gameplay of how you can use the grapple shot to traverse the map, and this man's terrible shotgun aim. There are also moments in the trailer where Smart Link, also known as ADS, is shown which will be another feature returning from Halo 5. Over this time, the zoom plays a lesser role in the game, with it being a smaller magnification. There also appears to be a new intro animation to multiplayer matches. 
The next thing that is touched on is equipment within the sandbox, which shows the repulsor being able to boost a spot and up to a higher ledge. It also shows that now the overshield and active camo power-ups will be manually activated by the player, instead of them being instantly activated the moment you touch them, and will drop on death if not used. There are also new systems in place with vehicle damage, showing that parts of vehicles can now be blown off, such as the hood or tyres, on the Warthog. There is also a new doomsday mechanic on all vehicles, where you'll have a certain amount of time before the vehicle blows up. There's gameplay of the new vehicle, the Razorback, and it's shown that on the back it has many storage compartments which you can use to store power weapons, turrets or fusion coils. It can also hold a driver and passenger in the front and two Spartans on the back. There's also gameplay of the Banished Wraith, which now has a shield for anyone using the turret. And among those vehicle drops from the Pelicans, there are now weapon pods that will be dropped into the map to resupply the maps where weapons are not found on the wall. The next thing that is shown is player AI, which can be chosen by the player, which will give them updates in the game. They then go into Spartan customization, showing all the different attributes that can be customized, that being the knee pads, the core armor, the chest, the armor coating, the gloves, the shoulders, the helmet, helmet attachments, visors, and weapon skins. There is then an in-game shot of the Halo Infinite menu UI, showing a rare skin for the assault rifle and when it was acquired. This shot of the menu shows four tabs, play, customize, community, and shop. Under the customized tab, there are five options. The armor hall, weapons bench, vehicle bay, body and AI, and presentation. This shot shows a possible preview of what the vehicle bay will look like when customizing vehicles. And they say how customization will be able to be changed on the go on a new upcoming Halo Waypoint app or on an upcoming redesigned Halo Waypoint website where you can see and change your in-game Spartan render. They show what could be the possible armor hall, showing Spartans on turntables. They also have options to now add prosthetics to your Spartan, on both arms and both legs, similar to Halo Reach. They also mention how there will be no loot boxes in Halo Infinite. Thank god, I hated rec packs. They go on to say the main ways to unlock customization will be throughout playing the game normally, or the Battle Pass. To make the Halo Battle Pass different than other gamers' Battle Passes, the Battle Passes in Halo Infinite will never expire, meaning that in the future, you could purchase the first ever one, or the last ever one, and choose which one to put your progression towards. 343 go on to say that the Samurai Armor, that was shown at the end of the first trailer, will be entirely free to unlock on the first season, they then show off the Academy, which is a tutorial area for multiplayer. They also show that bots are now going to be available in Halo Infinite to play against in custom games. And that is more or less everything in the second multiplayer overview trailer. Onto the Waypoint articles. The first one is more or less another breakdown of the new features coming up in multiplayer and provides 4K screenshots of gameplay. The next Waypoint post is one I'd usually skip over, that being the cosplay guide for the new Mark 7 armor. However, within the guide, there is some information showing that the Mark 7 leg armor has a spot to mount a weapon holster, letting you keep your M60 Magnum or Mark 50 sidekick close at hand. The Mark 50 sidekick is a weapon that's been seen quite a lot recently, and even in the past Halo Infinite trailers. However, there's been no talk and no leaks of the Magnum being in the game. This Magnum 
is the same model that was in Halo Combat Evolved and later brought into Halo 5, meaning that this powerful weapon could be making a return. In the final waypoint post, called Showcase Sensitive, it says that the multiplayer starts at the Avery Johnson Academy of Military Science, which will be the place where tutorials and shooting ranges will be available. And the person that will be walking you through all of this is Spartan Lorette Agriana? Agrina. Spot Lorette Agrina, the Spartan Academy Commander, who has been shown in glimpses of the trailers. The post also shows new or updated armor pieces, first one being the aviator helmet, the second piece of armor being the Vesda helmet. There is the Spartan shown in previous trailers with the updated soldier helmet from previous games, and then an image of a new Spartan equipped with a Mark 7 helmet with a UA slash armor helmet attachment, an ordnance pack, a UA slash Viator shoulder pad, and a right prosthetic arm holding an S7 sniper rifle which has a red weapon coating. There is an up close render of the skewer which is described as an anti-tank spike cannon used by the banished that has devastating power but a slow reload. There is an up close render of the VK-78 commando and some of the vehicles in Halo Infinite. The post then shifts to talking about the AI constructs that will be available during multiplayer that will give you callouts during the game and shows that this one seen in previous gameplay is called Luma. They then move on to the maps that have been seen in the previous trailers and give the names of them. This one being set on a forerunner beach on a halo ring is called Behemoth. The Valhalla looking big team battle map is called Fragmentation which is also set on Installation 07 Zeta Halo. The indoors tight quarters map that has been seen is called Recharge. And another map that has been seen in trailers is the live firing range for the Avery Johnson Academy. And the final map that they show is called Bazaar, set in New Mombasa, a location that was featured in Halo 2. And for now that is all the news on Halo Infinite. They have said that flighting will be available later in the summer if you are signed up to the Halo Insider program. But until the flighting goes live, or there is any other trailer, I'm going to sleep for a long time. Consider liking. That is all.